YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Man, it has been a while. I think when I last look, it's been over a year since I've uploaded. Um, lots of reasons for that, but uh, I believe last time I uploaded, I left my subscribers, anybody following along with my build, on a, on a cliffhanger. I never uploaded another video after that one. Um, I believe I talked about my blue 330Ci, how I had blown up the first motor in it, uh, was getting a new parts car to swap in a new low mileage 90k motor in it, which I did, and uh, we blew that one up too. Got a little too saucy, but uh, got an update for you guys today. We're going to get back into it. Life's been kicking my booty. Uh, work's been kicking my booty, but we're getting back around to it, so I'd like to give you guys an update and uh, show you where we're at. You know, a lot of videos you see on YouTube, people post stuff, and then they just don't upload anymore because they get out of the sport or they sell their car or whatever. Not the case, I've just been busy. So uh, let's get on this update. All right, y'all, so here's the blue 330. It looks a little bit different than last time. Different color hood on it, no holes in it. Inside still gone like before. Different wheels, it's jacked up way in the air like a monster truck. There's a reason for that. Um, let's see, I'm not gonna pop the hood, but uh, yeah. Blue car is done. Uh, there's nothing left of the blue car, so I gotta pull the power steering and the rack out of it. But besides that, blue car is done. Um, blue car is just getting, you know, put on the back burner or sold as a rolling shell, or we'll turn it into another race car. I don't know. But for now, our use with this chassis is done. It's old. It's tired. It needs a lot of work to get it back to where it was in its glory days. But yeah. Let's uh, show you what else we got going on. So, blue car, as you saw, has nothing in it. Uh, for quite a while now, I've been piecing together like interior pieces, a whole bunch of stuff to put the car back to like a normal looking car because I've realized as I started to get a little older, and I'm only 26, but as I'm starting to get a little older, I realized AC, interior, creature comforts, that's all the good stuff. And when you can go fast and still have that stuff, well, best of both worlds, right? So I got tired of the blue car. It was just a lot of money to try to get it back up to its uh, full interior, all that stuff, a lot of junkyard trips. So I've been kind of had my eye out for, you know, maybe something I could swap into. And uh, well, I found one. So we found a pretty low mileage 330Ci all black like my first car if you guys are ogs on the channel you would have seen my first car but yeah i mean it's got everything the blue car has got on it been the past couple days you know swapping everything over so we swapped tail lights over uh i don't know if y'all ever saw these wheels i got but i picked up some z4 wheels or z3 wheels i can't remember got the 275 fatties on there swapped the coil overs um got the fronts on Got a full chassis, 330Ci. It is an automatic. That is not a worry. It's not a worry at all. It is a full interior car, all black. I've already transferred over boost gauges. I've got to rewire the uh, speaker system in because whoever had it last did some janky ass wiring jobs. So I got to rewire that in or get a double din unit or something. Uh, but yeah, super clean, super, super clean. Got my gauges here. You know, the whole interior is clean. I got a harness bar with harnesses. I mean, it's just full interior. The only thing that needs work is the headliner, which we're gonna change all that to black anyways. But yeah, so here's the car. It's the new car, kind of a good shot right here. <clears throat> full trunk interior. I kind of boofed this freaking job back here, putting on my strut bar for the rear the tower over there but on that side i did it freaking beautiful so a little angry about that but it's the trunk not too worried about it got it full of parts for the swap i've kind of been on the b30 craze for a while um b30s are great the m54 platform is great as a whole there's aluminum so you know you got to be careful with how much power you push and if you want to push too much power you know you got to really dive into the block and do a lot of stuff to them not a big deal but uh i've only been uh, messing with unopened engines just because i haven't had time to really tear one down leave the car down for too long so junkyard trip after junkyard trip you know parts car after parts car i've gone through three m54 v30s and uh yeah i don't know a lot of research a lot of time talking to my tuner so 
I've decided I've switched platforms. I hope nobody's mad at me and I hope everybody uh, will understand, but... Boom. So we have an M52 iron block, 2.8 liter. It's a uh, fresh, fresh motor. It came out of like an 80K 320, or I'm sorry, 528i. It's an E39. So the exact motor we need, everything is plug and play. Um, I will go over like stuff that you need to swap. Uh, it's really only like two things. Not that big of a deal. You can literally just drop this engine in, so, uh, rewire two things and you're good to go. Uh, but we'll cover that whenever we get there. But we have been top mount for the majority of our turbo career, which as you can see, here's our top mount manifold. But we are going bottom mount. And the reason for that is AC. It's uh, it's hot where I live, I need AC, and I'm gonna park my daily and start dailying this once I get this engine running and in here. So AC is a must. So we are gonna go bottom mount. Um, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, we do have the six-speed ZF trans in there. Uh, this will have a 338 geared rear end. The auto axles are a little bit thicker than the manual axles, so that's all good, we can leave that in there. Other than that, car is super, super clean. So here it is, it's a B30 engine, completely stock, unmolested, like nothing has been messed with on this car, which is what I've been looking for, something completely stock, hasn't been messed with, you know, he's got a cold air intake on there and a vacuum leak, like everybody who puts a cold air intake and doesn't know how to properly fit their F-line, um, but yeah, that's that, it's super dirty right now, but uh, with a good degrease and everything, everything's going to look brand new, as you can see, you know, it's just a little dirty, but... Yeah, this car is ready. I think uh, in this upcoming couple of weeks, we're gonna get started tearing this out, getting the auto trans, getting the engine out. And we're just gonna plop this guy in there, rewire our two things, like I said, and we'll cover that when we get there and fire it up, see where we go. Gonna have to get a few things fabricated. Uh, definitely have to get an exhaust fabricated. No more top mount through the hood. We're going complete sleeper, AC clean season. So, we are going bottom mount. Uh, like I said, we get to keep AC. Uh, when you run top mount, your turbo sits about right here, which you don't need any of this whenever you run turbo anyways. But these lines will hit, and the lines back here are really, really close to a downpipe if you would like to run it. So just to avoid all that nonsense, we're going bottom mount. Plus, we'll be able to run an air filter up here and get all the whoosh shoo 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 noises, you know, a lot of induction noise from that. But yeah. That being said, let's cut over here. Um, for the future, this is an M50 head, non-Vanos. Uh, the M50 non-Vanos head came with, I believe, seven millimeter uh, valves and a set of six millimeter two-piece valves. They're seven millimeter one-piece valves. And um, I wanna say it came with dual springs, I'm not sure, but whatever the spring was, it was extremely overbuilt. The valve was extremely overbuilt. So this head alone with no work to it, just a refresh, you know, you can rev your engine super, super high. So we got that waiting for us whenever I get my other uh, 2.8 liter iron block here. My buddy's gonna bring it to me. We'll start building that and get that all together. That's gonna be a built motor. We're gonna be looking at about a thousand. But uh, this is completely unopened, hasn't been opened. Came off a beautiful running car. You can see how beautiful everything looks. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit, but here, I'll come to this side. You can probably see the paint, painted it, but I mean, everything is there beautiful beautiful engine so all the cylinders everything looked great on this thing crankshaft looked beautiful so hoping we get some good life out of this one while we're building our second one but uh we do have a new turbo over here here is our 11 blade billet wheel turbo uh, we did move up to a t4 flange which i'm going to have to buy a new housing and move over to a v-band flange because the manifold i'm getting for bottom mount is a v-band uh, but other than that, yeah, same size turbo. Just going to go to a V-band housing. I have a V-band exit, obviously. Um, I got some other goodies and bits over here, like an M3 cluster, white. I've never seen one before, but got it kind of cheap, so that's cool. But yeah, let's dive into our other turbo from our last build. So here's our other turbo uh, from the last build. I didn't notice this at all, but it weirdly, it had some very, very weird damage on it. And I was taking this turbo apart to swap housings with the other turbo, just cause I was gonna keep running this turbo until it crapped out, then throw the other turbo on. But upon examination, 
Um, we have found something likely went through the motor whenever I blew up the last couple and has decided to shred all of our exhaust blades. We're missing quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of material on all those blades. So from there on the outside, just looking in it, it looked fine. But once I took the housing off, I could see, you know, these are supposed to come out to that edge is missing a good chunk out of every single wheel. So I don't know if that attributed to some shit blowing up in my engine or if this was a cause from shit blowing up and stuff going through the engine three times, but who knows? Kind of kept it as a little keepsake, gonna trade the wheel out and then, you know, the turbo still good to go, but yeah. All right, y'all. So that's it for this video. Just a quick little update. Got the engine over here, your car. This car, females, if you're watching, I'm sorry. It's like a female. She's got a good side, but she's also got a bad side, you know? That's okay, we just take pictures on the good side, right? It's a sleeper car, not worried about the paint, but this car should be awesome, a lot of fun, perfect platform for what I'm wanting to do with it. She's fat already, tucking 275s on the rear. I mean, what else can you ask for? Hey guys, that's all. Thanks for watching my quick little update video. I'll be dropping some more videos. I'll make sure of that. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button. And yeah, stick around. We're going to have a lot of fun this year. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to try to drop as much content for y'all as possible. Um, the E46 platform is kind of still unknown to a lot. So I'd like to put a lot of content out there. You know, maybe one day break some records and have you guys along with us. So that's all. We'll see you next time on Addicted to Cars. And we'll catch you later, guys.